All right, guys, for this next video, it's going to be on fishing gear. What fishing pole, fishing line, and lures to use to catch fish, whatever fish you're trying to catch. Uh, first off, I just want to say thank you for all the people that watched my video. Hope it helped you out on long lines. So we'll get right to this. So I'm going to be looking for sailfish today. We're gonna go over here. Make sure I got sailfish marked. I don't want to get tuna right now. Make sure that's all I got. All right. So once again, the uh, last thing I didn't cover in the last video. So how to see what you need to catch the fish. So if you, you see where it says sailfish, you just type, you just tap on the name. It should pop up this screen right there to tell you what depth they're at. So they're at mid. The gear, you'll need a fishing pole, first trawl bait. So basically any fishing boat can trawl and work boats. Um, the bait, squid, shrimp, or fish. I usually use squid or shrimp. That's usually my preference. Right here. And then I got this fishing pole. All right, so fit for fishing poles, real really doesn't matter. I mean, the durability, everything matters. But you just have to, having the best is obviously the best. So the durability can hold up to a thousand pounds. Other than that, you really don't need to pay attention to the rest. The rod, I've got the best roller rod they have. 1,500 pounds. Max tension, action, cast power. See how that is different from the beginning rod that you start off with. So the, hook, the lures is what everybody has the most trouble with. What lure is the best for the fish? So if you go back and you click on your fish that you're trying to catch, See how it's a four star, right? I'm using three star lures. Three star lures are always, be, I'd use the hooks. The hooks are the best for me. I just try them out. I use three star, I usually, whatever star I'm fishing, I go to the star below. So if I'm fishing a four star, I go to three star. And then your line, you just want, you want to make sure that you have a good enough line to pull in whatever you're trying to pull in. If you're trying to pull in a 150-pound tuna with a 35-pound line, you're not going to make it five feet. So get like the rest of it. Get the best that you can get. So you can change the depth. Make sure you have in the center between rod and lure, there's... You pay 25 gold for the auto depth thing. It'll, uh, if you don't have it, your bait won't go to mid or to bottom. And this pass. Purposes of this video, we're gonna catch a fish. When you're fishing, you always wanna try to find a three star spot. I'm just fishing right now. Just to show you. Anytime you go to quick travel, make sure you pull in your rods. Because if you catch a fish, right as you're quick traveling, you'll break your rod. There's no chance to pull in today. Alright, here we go. We got our first fish. I'm on the line. Get back to strike. And reel her in. If the fish is too big, cut your line. Don't break your rod or your reel over it. Right, so we got a 52 pound sailfish. There you go. That's pretty much the basics of fishing. The more lines you have in the water, the more chances of you catch more fish rapidly. Shows you my uh, setup. 